You got that something that can't be seen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to hop on here real quick and show you a fast video on how I clean my washing machine because it's a little overdue. Um, it's important to keep your washing machine clean because how can you get clean clothes with a dirty machine? You know what I mean? So let's get started. The product that I'm going to be using today is this OxyClean washing machine cleaner. Uh, they sell a bunch of different brands, make washing machine cleaners. I think they all work just the same. I'm not saying that this is what I prefer. I think it was the cheapest thing at Target when I bought it, so that's why I bought it. I have also used a cup of baking soda uh, in one cycle with hot water and then another cycle with um, vinegar. Google that though, it might be the, the other way around. Um, I'll double check that, but right now this is what I'm using. Like I said, I probably just bought it because it was the cheapest thing I could get. They come in this nice little packet. Use a normal cycle using hot water. After the cycle is complete, complete. After the cycle is complete, wipe away any residue left behind with a towel. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna take you along with me and show you how I do it. So I just tear this open, if I can actually tear straight. Oops. And it's just a powder. It looks like regular OxyClean. I don't know if I can really show you that without dumping it all over my dryer here. And I just dump it in here. I have a top load washing machine that um, it doesn't have an agitator. I'll show you. I don't know if you can even see the powder in there, but you just watched me dump it in there. So <laughs> you know it's in there. All right. So now that the powder is down in the washing machine, I just close this and my washing machine has a tank to auto dispense the detergent. So I need to turn that off because you don't want any detergent when in the washing machine when you're cleaning it. My washing machine does not have a self-clean cycle. So you're just gonna put it on normal and make sure you have hot water. And uh, it's just normal. It really doesn't even need to spin. I'll just do a normal spin because I don't know if we really need that or not. Um, and then I don't need to do a deep rinse because um, we're obviously not going to use um, fabric softener in here. And then I'll just press start. And basically you just let the washing machine do its thing. I made his words. We fell apart a thousand times, a thousand times You moved away, I'm here to stay I wish I could While the washing machine is running and doing its thing to kind of like self-clean Or really there's not a lot of work that goes into this You just have to wipe it out when it's done But uh, while the washing machine is doing its thing I have to go out and run some errands I gotta go to Target Probably all these food lions the good stuff. Uh, I gotta get groceries and all that fun stuff. So I'll catch you back later. Y'all, it is a million degrees. <laughs> oh, I just finished carrying in all of my groceries and I am hot as hell. Um, my phone says that it's 90 degrees with a real feel of 102. I think the real feel is 8 million, but. <laughs> So I went to Target and I went to Aldi and I still need to go to Walmart but because it's 8 million degrees I ran back home to um, put all my groceries up from Aldi so they wouldn't be sitting in my trunk getting hot. So um, yeah. So you here, you miles away, it's safe to say, it's almost like you've disappeared.
just wanna let you know that I'll do anything to get you here. Oh, I could never let you go. I'll make it worth your while if you appear. If I change my ways, babe, won't you come back to me? So I spent $42 at Target and $115 at Aldi. I'll show you the receipt. This is from Aldi. And that's from Target, although that's nothing impressive, really, $42 compared to what I got from Aldi. But everything I bought from Aldi for $115. Look at this long receipt. So, I'm going to show you everything I got. These came from Aldi. They were like $4.50 for six rolls. And they're actually good toilet, uh, not toilet paper, paper towels. Um, all this came from Target. Really nothing special. Also from Target. Um, I like this stuff. It's $1.50. It's technically men's, but it's it's $1.50. And it works great. I love it. And um, I'm gonna try this stuff out, the Schmitz deodorant. Um, if anybody's tried that out, let me know. As far as from Aldi, I got organic milk. Um, funny story, I bought that stuff by accident one day because we went into Aldi and they were out of their regular milk. And I swear to you, the organic milk tastes better. It's a little bit more expensive, but it tastes better. Um, their produce was awesome priced. Their seasonings, these were, I got four of these seasonings, different ones. They were all at 99 cents each. I buy this barbecue sauce. It obviously is made to look like Sweet Baby Ray's and it tastes fine. It's 95 cents, whereas Sweet Baby Ray's is a lot more than that. Um, I bought four things of spaghetti sauce in different flavors. They were 85 cents each. I got four cream of mushroom slash cream of chickens. They were 35 cents each. Um, we eat a lot of shredded cheese in our house. These mixed vegetables here were um, 72 cents each. I got three of them. Broccoli florets were 95 cents each. Their block cheese is $1.69. Um, I think these were like a dollar, these little blackberries. I thought they'd be good to put in oatmeal. Um, I don't remember how much these carrots were, but these are for Sierra. She likes to eat carrots. Um, um, what else was of good significance? Oh, I got, um, meat. $4.43. It was 99 cents a pound. So I got two things of chicken legs. Their pork chops weren't exactly all that cheap, but I'm picky about them. So I got one pack of those, and then I got one country style ribs. This was actually pretty cheap. I was impressed. Seasoned boneless pork shoulder roast. It was a dollar ninety nine a pound. So four dollars and forty eight cents for this. And it's already pre-seasoned, so I'm gonna throw that in the crock pot. What else did I get? Oh, I found this. I think it was like a dollar or so, but it looks so nice. And I got, I found this organic whole bean coffee. I'm gonna try it out. Um, it's medium roast, so we'll see if it's strong enough for me, but I wanna try it. It looked good. Um, yeah, if you haven't checked out Aldi, they, I mean, really, I got all of this stuff and those paper towels over there from Aldi, $115, and their meat's usually pretty good, just keep an eye on the date. Uh, sometimes their produce is iffy, like in the winter time, I've noticed, I'll buy it, and then the next day it'll go bad, so watch out for that, but, yeah, oh, and I found this at Target, isn't this really cute? It's got a nice top, like, this looks like something from Starbucks. It says, it takes big hearts to shape little minds. My cousin's wife is a teacher, and I thought this would be really nice to give her for Christmas 
yes, I realize that it's only July, but it was $3, so I'm gonna set it aside with my Christmas stuff. It was in the dollar spot at Target and give that to her for Christmas. At the end of the cycle, I'm just going to wipe down the entire washing machine with this towel. I did put um, just like a little bit of water on the towel so it would have some moisture on it so I wasn't just dry wiping the washing machine down. It probably works best if you start wiping it down as soon as the cycle's finished. But I was gone so there was a little bit of time for it to dry. Another tip I have for taking care of your washing machine is to make sure you leave the lid open or if you have a front loader, leave the door open after each load uh, just for a little while to make sure that it dries completely on the inside and you don't get any mildew or anything. Alright, last stop is Walmart. Let's see how crowded it is. It is 3.45 in the afternoon. I am exhausted. I look tired. <laughs> um, I think everybody in America knows that Friday afternoon is the worst time to go to Walmart. So I'm hoping that it's not late enough to where it's going to be too busy. But we'll see. Wish me luck. <laughs> Y'all, do you see how hot it is? It is 92 degrees right now. So I did spend a little bit more than I had anticipated at Walmart, which always seems to be the case at Walmart. Brian and I joke around and call it Walmart tax. I did get some pretty good stuff at good deals though. And I had to buy him some stuff for work. But I found something really cool that I wanted to show you guys. I found this pajama set at Walmart and the top was $5 and the bottoms were $5 and the top says up all night and the shorts say coffee and they are just the cutest thing. I didn't really need them but you know it was really cute. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm hot. I want to take a shower. My face is really oily because it's so hot and humid outside. But yeah, grocery day. <laughs> Hit that like button if you got some kind of enjoyment out of this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!